Hey, Flimsy Lunch Trey here, and welcome to Wood Warships in our Saturday edition video as we check out an upgrade and commander build video today here on the tier 10 German battleship, the Schlieffen. So, we're gonna hop right into it. So, what type of battleship is Schlieffen? Well, I think most of all of you would know the answer to that, and that she is a brawling battleship. She's not a long range sniper. Um, any of that sort. She likes to play those medium ranges uh, to close range quarters as that is really where she begins to shine, especially once you trap enemy uh, ships within her secondary range, uh, which is 12.5 kilometers or technically 12.55 kilometers. Um, so she shines with that. She shines with her torpedoes. She gets 16 torpedoes in total with a range of 13.5 kilometers. So if you build into your concealments, you can actually even stealth fire these torpedoes that only go 50 knots. So, um, so she is a bit of a beast, um, but at some expense, her survivability 76,100. Um, so she has a very low health pool in comparison to a lot of the other tier 10 battleships. In terms of her armor layout, as noted in yesterday, she's got this 60 millimeter icebreaker bow. And then softer on the top, being this 27 millimeter plating. Uh, we go to the back, and uh, she's got this 27 millimeter as well. But then she gets 150 millimeter uh, plating here. So uh, not too shabby. So when we kind of zoom out here, you can see uh, that if you're wanting to pick on as a destroyer, uh, you want to go like you're uh, firing from smoke. Let's say, for example, you kind of want to aim more for uh, this area up here, or you simply go for the stern, or of course, uh, saturate the superstructure at 19 millimeter of plating. Um, you can see that it's actually not too bad for kiting too because you have this 150 millimeter aft end armor belt. Um, ideally, when you're in a brawling battleship with excellent secondaries like Schlieffen, you just kind of uh, position this kiting angle and you just uh, let loose against enemy ships as it's just, it's just wonderful. It's just amazing. But going back into the armor, uh, let's check out the guns. So you have 380 millimeter on the front. 330 on this top part, 330 here, 220, 220 on the top, 150, and then on the back side, you got 350. So your sides of your turrets and the top is where it's the most weakest, of course. Um, and then we'll start stripping some things away. So there you begin to see what it looks like once we uh, dive beneath the 50 millimeter deck plating armor. Take that away, and here's your citadel. So you can actually see that the citadel is just above waterline. You get this 50 millimeter torpedo bulkhead. Um, but then when we look more at the citadel, it's 300 millimeters. So um, you definitely can get wrecked. You can get clapped um, if you're not paying attention. And uh, you know something like a Satsuma of Vermont, uh, even in Ohio, uh, they hit you just right. Uh, you can uh, pin right through. As you can see, you don't have that turtle belt. Uh, armor scheme where uh, it helps you in those close quarter situations. Uh, so with the armor as a whole from battleships, you're going to be eating a lot more pins um, and the superstructure uh, or in the, the top part of the deck, uh, pardon me, along the hull of the ship. Um, but you might get lucky and you do some bounces with this 350, 380 millimeter armor here um, if you're angled properly. But um, if you're focusing a Schlieffen, uh, you know, kind of go for this area and uh, through here and pin through the deck uh, and do uh, a good amount of damage. Now, in terms of the modules on the Schlieffen, you have no further modules to research once you pick the ship up. Uh, you get the 420 millimeter, uh, eight guns, reload time of 27 seconds, stock, standard. 180 degree turn time at 30 seconds, which is pretty nice. So you can, actually, I'm not even running any grease to gears uh, turret traverse on the Schlieffen. Maximum HE shell damage, 4,600. Maximum AP shell damage, 12,950. In terms of her hull, the 76,100 we've made mention and note of. Uh, you have a good amount of secondary gun turrets on the Schlieffen, as well as some AA mounts. Um, so the ship, um, does not have a robust health pool and for being tier 10. Um, and that's just traded off uh, for her secondaries, her torpedoes, her concealment. So this just trade offs with that. Uh, her torpedoes are the G71 torpedoes, the reload time of 160 seconds. So uh, this means you have over a two minute reload time on these torpedoes with a range of 13.5 kilometers. 
maximum damage 16,533 with a torpedo speed of 50 knots. So um, most use you can get out of these torpedoes is when you're in those really close quarters engagements because these torpedoes have excellent um, torpedo arcs. Uh, which is really nice when you're um, rushing up on a battleship or you're trying to do a drive-by, as an example, um, because this is your trump card in those type of situations. With the gunfire control system, you have a range of 19.8 kilometers, which I think is just fine. And there's really no need to build into the range of these guns, because if you're trying to do sniper um, yeah, I would just flat out tell you you're playing the ship wrong. Propulsion, 200,000 horsepower, so we have 34.1 knots. Uh, we can actually, uh, let's read the email, all these. Um, Sierra Mike, if we add that on, we're up to 35.8 knots. So then when some people stack on Brisk, um, which I think Brisk is like, was that 10%? Uh, then that means you're uh, climbing up past 37 to 38 knots. Uh, so you can be quite the speedster uh, when you are dark. In terms of her uh, upgrades, um, typically you find me often recommending the main armors modification one um, because of the main battery, but then also we have another perk of the torpedoes here and reducing their incapacitation, repair time, survivability, but the secondaries is where it's at on the Schlieffen, so I have revolved this entire build of the ship around the secondaries, uh, pretty much. So our secondary battery survivability is plus 100%. A amount survivability plus 100%. Uh, so this is something I have a mod um, that helps me keep track of um, the survivability of how active my secondaries are. Um, so having this helps have a greater robust um, survivability of your secondary armaments uh, since they're really doing a lot when you get into those uh, that 12.5 uh, kilometer uh, secondary battery window. For the uh, third slot, um, what I would recommend is the damage control system modification one if you don't have any coal to spend. Uh, risk of catching fire, negative 5%. Risk of flooding, negative 3%. If you do have the coal to spend, I'm gonna recommend you take the hydroacoustic search modification one. Consumable action time plus 20%. So that's getting us up to an action time with our hydroacoustic search. I'm gonna X out that apparently. Of 132 seconds. We can actually even extend it further Oh, phone's ringing. I have to like, call them back. Uh, but you can actually extend it even further uh, with the Sierra Bravo. This is a Hadouk Six Search consumable action time of plus 10%. Uh, so this means that our Hadouk Six Search action time is extended even further, 245.2 seconds, which I was running this in yesterday's video. Uh, going on to the third slot. So here... Uh, I would recommend just straight up take the secondary battery modification one. Secondary battery firing range plus 20%, maximum secondary battery shell dispersion, negative 20%, to build us up to that exquisite, lovely range of 12.5 kilometers, but also improving our shell dispersion so our secondaries are more apt to land uh, on target. If you didn't want to take secondary battery modification one, uh, the second option I could say would be the aiming systems modification one to have a greater main battery shell dispersion of negative 7%, uh, firing range plus 5%, torpedo tubes, trooper speed plus 20%, but again, really, this is what you want first and foremost here on the Schlieffen. Now on the fourth slot, I've changed things up a little bit. Uh, I've shared recently that I'm trying to test out uh, more things, uh, to try to stretch myself as a player to learn more. Um, normally, like with a battleship, I'd be like, yeah, damage control system modification two, but there's a little bit differences going on here with the Schlieffen, in my opinion. So I have opted to take propulsion modification one, uh, time to we can sh reach full engine power when accelerating, plus uh, negative 50%, and it has been awesome. I have avoided uh, many salvos. It's helped me to avoid torpedoes, um, and almost every other battle, I can just see the benefit of having the propulsion modification one on the Schlieffen um, because she is this uh, high-speed battleship, um, and that really helps when you play into this more. And another reason why uh, I don't uh, I don't lean towards the damage control system modification too so much here in the Schlieffen is because of these uh, fast damage control teams. Um, they have action time right now with the build, 11 seconds, reload time of 40 seconds. Uh, so this is just uh, brilliant in my opinion. 
So that means, you know, if it's one fire, yeah, I can let it burn out. Um, but, you know, if you get one fire and a, a modular capacity, something like that, you know, just top, pop your uh, fast and damage control team because it uh, reloads so much. So you saw that I got pretty good use out of those in yesterday's video, which will be uh, at the end of this clip for you to watch. Uh, and it's just great. Um, so that's why I don't see the need of running the damage control system modification too so much uh, for this reason, but also because the Schlieffen is a higher, um, faster speeding, uh, high speed battleship. Uh, so she works really well in that. For the fifth slot, I uh, definitely gonna recommend you take the concealment system modification one. This reduces your ship's detectability range to negative 10%, scar detectability range to negative 10%, dispersion of shells fired by enemies attacking your ship, plus. 5%. Um, and so this all in all is just really good to have if you want to build into that full secondary um, build here because uh, once you have fully built into secondaries, uh, as we talked about, uh, the reaction time is you know 12.5, concealment 12.6. So as soon as you detect someone, your secondaries are just about to start firing um, and you can put a world of pain uh, for the enemy ships. Now, if you wanted to do something like a Torpedo Vigilance build, um, it kind of actually works uh, not too bad with these guys. Uh, this expands your, uh, extends your assured acquisition range of torpedoes by 1.8 kilometers. Uh, you could do that, um, but I don't recommend it. I recommend first and foremost to consume the system modification one. Now, here there's two options in my mind. You have your standard main battery modification three, which gets our main battery reload time down by negative 12%. So 27 seconds. So that means uh, we would be getting down uh, um, to towards 20, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, uh, beneath 25 seconds. Uh, I can even do the math here. Yeah, so 27 minus 3.24, 23.76 uh, second reload time on the main battery gun. So um, this is not a bad option. Uh, by any means uh, or any stretch of the imagination, your main battery traverse speed, negative 13%. Uh, so this is good. Um, the other caveat is your auxiliary armaments modification two. Uh, this is what I would first and foremost recommend because your secondary battery reload time goes down by negative 20%. Um, so as I show, showed on the left side of the screen in yesterday's uh, video, so you can see our 105 millimeter guns, these guys are doing 2.2 second reload time. Um, and these are doing 4.9 second reload time. Um, so it's quite exquisite, especially when you start stacking in adrenaline rush uh, or you get the secondary battery reload time reduced, uh, talent activated with uh, Gunther Luchin, which we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, so you're just this beast um, that has all these guns firing <clears throat> every two uh, to 4.9 seconds. Um, moving on, uh, let's see here. I don't know if we need to necessarily talk more about the armament, but I guess we will for a brief moment. Your HE uh, chances of causing a fire on target is only 13.5%, uh, so not necessarily extremely high, um, but it's good if you're dealing maybe with a more tanky target and your AP is not performing so well. Uh, AP is 835 uh, meters a second with the velocity, so uh, not bad. Um, you have same with the HE shells. Your torpedoes, we discussed <coughs> those already, excuse me. Depth charge airstrike, maximum bomb damage, 4,900. Number of bombs in the payload, two. Uh, with a maximum range of 11 kilometers. So that's actually really nice because something like the Ohio, six kilometers. Um, I think Massachusetts and Georgia also get a, a short range, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so actually consider yourself not too bad off here. Uh, with having uh, the longer range of these depth charge airstrikes. Consumable wise, we touched on a little bit already, but the fast damage control team is superb uh, on this. Uh, so we have five charges in total with the build we have. Um, high reload speed, limited number of charges. So you have to use these wisely, but if you use these wisely in conjunction with your repair party, if you're kind of trading them off back and forth, uh, it can be really helpful. Uh, HP per second with the repair party is 380. We mount the India Delta combat signal. We're up to 456 with a consumable action time of 30.8 seconds and a reload time of a minute 20 seconds or 80 seconds uh, with four repair parties. How to acoustic search, we have three of these. 
Detection of torpedoes is 3.8. Uh, I think yesterday's video I said 3.75. I'm not sure if this is just rounding it up to 3.8 um, because they don't do uh, the second number so much with the kilometer distances. Detection of ships, 5.5 kilometers. So this allows you to push in. Maybe there's an enemy cruiser in a smoke screen, enemy ashore in a smoke screen, um, but also help you evade torpedoes. Um, max submarine spotting range at maximum depth two kilometers, which is kind of crappy, which means you basically have to be on top of the submarine to pick them up with your hydroacoustic search. And you can see that we've built the extended action time out to 145.2 seconds with the reload time of two minutes being 120 seconds. Um, other things I would be running here with this build. This is probably what I would uh, be running with signals. Moving on to the commander. Um, Let's talk about Luchin's uh, first and foremost. Uh, so he has a main battery reload uh, loader talent. This means you have to get 140 uh, times um, hits with your main battery shells against enemy targets. So the reality is uh, you're likely not going to reach that in a battleship. Uh, this is something more like Hindenburg, um, where you'll be able to activate this talent more easily, or even the lower tier German cruisers, or uh, higher tier to mid tier. The secondary battery loader talent, uh, which is why we really like Lucian's on uh, the Schlieffen, uh, means that it, this activates once per battle upon hitting enemy ships 100 times with secondary battery shells. Secondary battery reload time of negative uh, 15%. So I actually didn't do the math um, in the video that I had yesterday. So we're going to check that out real quick. Oh, if I actually do the uh, typing into my phone correctly. So that means <clears throat> you're getting actually underneath uh, two seconds. So you're like 1.87 seconds, something like that. Uh, so that's uh, quite exquisite in my opinion. So uh, that's why we really like having uh, Luchins uh, on Schlieffen. Uh, you also have Aerial Equipment Expert. Of course, this is for your German carriers. But then your resilient talents. Uh, this is actually something you can have the possibility of activating in random battles, uh, especially this talent in operations. Um, but uh, activating upon spotting of every three enemy ships, the talent's action time measured in seconds is equal to the ship's tier. So HP per second plus 300% and that ticks for 10 seconds. Uh, so it's actually really nice to have, um, especially if you find yourself um, a bit outnumbered by the enemy. Um, or you're just pushing on your flank and you're spotting enemy ships and you're able to heal back some damage. Really good stuff. He has two enhanced skills. The first is the preventative maintenance. Uh, instead of your risk of modules becoming incapacitated being negative 30%, it's negative 45%, which is fantastic. And then also uh, grease the gears, a main battery traverse speed, <coughs> plus 25% instead of being plus 20%. So in terms of the build, uh, what would I recommend running your first uh, 10 skill points with, I would say pick up Prevent the Maintenance for that negative 45%. If you're wanting to do the IFHB uh, build like I have to pin 32 millimeter without the IFHE, you're not pinning 32 millimeter and most cruisers and battleships um, bow, stern, uh, armor are all 32 millimeter. So then you're able to do much more damage or even like the light cruisers uh, as an example. So I'd say this for uh, a three-point commander, then for a six-point commander, just go ahead and pick up the long-range secondary battery shells uh, to extend your secondary battery firing range. And then, honestly, just go ahead and have fun. Uh, I would say pick up the manual battery, uh, a manual secondary battery aiming uh, with a ten-point commander, which gives you a reload time of your secondaries and negative ten percent. Maximum secondary battery shell dispersion, a permanent effect of negative ten percent, and over the course of this should be 45 seconds. Uh, you can build it up to an additional negative 50%, meaning a total of ne negative 60% uh, main or secondary battery shell dispersion. So uh, really good stuff. And then for a 14 point commander, I'd recommend go ahead and pick up the emergency repair expert. This is what gives you five uh, fast damage control <coughs> teams and then four repair parties. Otherwise you have three repair parties and four fast damage control teams. <coughs> Some food stuck in my throat. Uh, then after that, I would say with an 18 point commander, pick up the concealment expert uh, to get you down to that 12.6 kilometers. 
Um, so this is the route I have elected to go through so far as I continue working on building uh, Luchins up to a 21 point commander. Um, I could probably be willing to spend some elite commander XP, but I'm just uh, trying to let it accumulate and build up more. And it wouldn't get me to a 21 point Luchins even if I spent all 900,000 elite commander XP. Um, but I'm going for this next. Um, if you really wanted to, if you like having your adrenaline rush uh, sooner, uh, you could probably just skip the long range uh, secondary battery shells, pick this up, and then with the 10 point commander, go this route. Uh, alternatively, you can just wait on picking up the emergency repair expert or concealment expert um, if you're wanting to have it on rush sooner. For me, it hasn't bothered me because I really like um, this build that I have thus far. I wanted to get the most out of uh, the skill points that I have. But when you stack Adrenaline Rush in, which um, I forgot that I hadn't had Adrenaline Rush mastered on Luchins yet for the Schlieffen, um, then your main battery reload time and your torpedo reload time, your secondary battery reload time, all that's going to drop uh, by um, considerably. So then, you know, what I said with that uh, skill being activated with the secondary battery uh, loader, you know, what, 1.87 seconds, then you start stacking in a drone rush, 1.7, 1.6, 1.5 seconds. So um, you can just have this nasty outpouring of damage from Schlieffen when you're fully built into the secondaries and you have uh, the Adrenaline Rush uh, built in. So this is the build I recommend here uh, for Schlieffen uh, with Luchins. If you don't have Luchins, uh, then I still recommend this build setup here. Um, there's just some extra perks that you can get uh, with Luchins and running him on Schlieffen, in my opinion. So that's going to wrap this video up. So if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do want to see more. If you're subscribed, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. And we'll catch you next time. Take care.